Hello, this is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and I want to take you through setting up a study once we've gone through the wizard to actually create the study. Now we need to fill in the information about what we want to do. Now, we know a lot of things about this system. We know how much air is coming in. We know what we want to know, which is how much air is coming out of each of the various outlets, but we don't know much else. So all you have to do when you're setting up a flow study is to tell it what you do know and the software will handle the rest. So I'm going to create a boundary condition that represents the air coming in to this inlet. I'll change the transparency really quickly on this main part so it's a little easier to pick on all these various faces and you can see that by selecting that face it's very easy to go ahead and insert that boundary condition. The definition of the boundary condition that is the air is coming in to the inlet with a volume flow rate of 100 CFM. Luckily, my unit system is, this, is what I need it to be, so I don't have to do any conversions. I don't have to do any pesky thinking or, or, or scratching my head or doing conversions. I'll do one more boundary condition, and this one is going to be for all six of the outlets. Now, I can do them all at once. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to take each one to account and treat it as an opening to uh, atmosphere. Now that static pressure opening is just going to take into account that it's being sucked into the engine or whatever device or system it's being used for. We get nice little arrow feedback at all times letting us know whether the air is definitely coming in or whether it's just an opening and it might come in or it might go out. These are the things we know, but these are not the things we want to know. So what do we want to know? We need to have some goals. The goals serve a couple of different things. They give us some feedback and some measurements live while we're running and make it easy to gather that information when we're done. But goals also make it possible to solve quicker. The software is going to make sure that convergence is reached on all of those values that you created a goal for so you don't have to worry about whether or not each one is done. I'm going to create some surface goals here real quick and I'm going to specify each one of the outlets as having a goal related to the volume flow rate. Now I've already specified or picked all six of those when I did this static pressure opening. So by clicking the static pressure opening, I can quickly create a goal for each surface and understand the volume flow rate at each one of those. So now I have all six of my volume flow rates ready. If I want to do something else, like for instance, I want to create a, an equation goal to relate how much volume is coming in total or how much uh, volume percentage wise is coming into each one, I can do that too. So for instance, I can say, I want to know the percentage of the volume flow rate coming through this particular volume opening. So I'll say that volume flow rate divided by the total volume flow rate coming into the system. And for the inlet volume flow, volume flow rate right there. And we'll say times 100, so it's a numerical value. So it's very easy to create equations that would allow us to create uh, uh, standard values such as back pressure or, or efficiency values, uh, drag coefficients, just about any kind of number that you want to get to. You can simply specify that as a goal and the software will run the study until the value is completely converged. So that's how you'll get started setting up the flow simulation study.